This bubble chart has been created using sales and quantity. To cluster sales on the x-axis, I select the field, auto group, toggle auto group on, and pick the number of groups I want. The visualization is now rendered with five groups that I've asked for. A decision tree can also be used to cluster data. Dropping line item amount into the target, a hierarchy is, is built. A tree diagram is drawn. The first level of clustering has occurred by product type. I can see where product types have been clustered together around average line item amounts and the total tells me how many data points are included in that cluster. Maps can be used to cluster data. This map shows population data by longitude and latitude. I'm using a hex bin layout level. The darker the hex bin, the larger the population value. As I zoom in, I can start to make out the hex shapes. Notice the 3D effect as I zoom in. The taller the shape, the larger the population value. I can also use a heat type. The darker the shade, the higher the population. And finally, I can use a cluster type. At this level, I can see the number of data points that are in each cluster. As I zoom in, the cluster breaks into smaller clusters until I resolve to unique data points.